In this video, I will show you how you can make any object really aggressive. Alright, and welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, I want to show you how I created something like this. Um, I would call this an aggressive fruit or something. And I want to try to make something else aggressive. And in today's case, that's going to be a balloon. So I found this image of a balloon on uh, Unsplash. And now I want to get these teeth again because I really like them. So I found them back here. I just typed in uh, Roar on Google and this is where I found my teeth. So I'm just going to copy this image and paste it into our canvas and resize it a little bit. Alright, first thing that we want to do is to select only our um, teeth. So let's just select our teeth quickly. I just pressed L to select the lasso tool and I drew our selection. So I'm going to mask this stuff out. And the first thing what I want to do is make sure that we have it at the right the right position and I think that's going to be something like so and now maybe a little smaller and now I want to rasterize and trim this layer so that we get rid of all the other pixels that we are that we've hidden so rasterize and trim and now you can see this is the only selected pixels or the only pixels still available for selection so let's delete the rest of the mask and we do that by just masking the rest out choose a little harder brush and set the rest flowing up as to 100 percent and let's mask out our selection maybe an even quicker way is to do it with a um, pen tool so i will do that quickly now All right, we just need this part for now. Let's select this one and move it a little bit and connect everything together, make it a selection and select the mask. And now I just press shift delete and choose secondary secondary color and boom, everything is gone. So let's brush the rest away. And the shortcut for shift delete is to give this fill um, box so you can choose different things. And I just filled uh, our selection with black. So, and I chose the layer mask. So then it will hide the complete layer mask. All right, there is our mouth. Looks awesome. Uh, and yes, that looks really cool. Now we want to make sure that our um, lips are attached to the balloon. So let's select our balloon. And we can do that probably really easy by using the selection brush as, we, as you can see. And we're just going to refine it for refine it quickly. Um, copy the layer and mask everything out. All right, and then we rasterize and trim. So now we have our balloon separated. So now I can uh, reshape this one with the deform tool, create some anchor points, and these anchor points, w points will stay into place. But as soon as we click and drag one, we can reshape our balloon shape. Let's make this, or let's try to make it round maybe here there we go let's press apply and the next thing that we want to do is to get rid of all this red stuff because it shouldn't be there so and that's on both this layer and the other layer so let's start cleaning up this layer first I turn this one off so it makes it easier for us to see when we've deleted this and I'm just going to grab uh, create a mask and brush over here so we can delete all of this. And now you can see that the, uh, I'm just going to clean up this mask a little bit. It's a little messy. 
I just did it quickly with the pen tool, obviously, but let's try to make it a little nicer than it is. Something like so. Definitely not perfect, guys, and usually I would take more time to make these selections, but I don't want to waste your time too much. So that was the first part. Let's switch. Let's turn this one on and turn this one off. And now we want to make sure this is gone. So how are we going to do that? We create a new layer and we pick our um, clone brush tool, select this to current layer and below so that we can grab pixels from actually from this layer. And now we sample right here and we just brush over the parts that we want to cover up. like so and now make sure to turn on this layer again and there we have our balloon our aggressive balloon now i think what i want to do is to blend in the lips a little better with the balloon because now it's kind of really harsh the edge so there's our lips so we have to go to this pixel layer and we're just gonna grab a soft round brush and blend in our lip a little better. Maybe decrease the opacity a little bit. Something like so. And now we have to fix this part a little bit because now it's not connecting anymore here well let's leave it it's okay so we can actually just stretch this one a little bit ah it's on this layer layer there we go and we want to mask out this a little bit. Create a harder brush, 100% opacity, and I just want to erase this part. The brush is too hard. All right, there we go. So it kind of looks like a Pac-Man now, which looks pretty funny. Um, all I want to do now is like a balloon is really red and you can see that this black stuff is kind of bluish and I want to make it red. So there is our mouth layer. I want to create an, a curves adjustment layer and clip it to our uh, mouth. And I want to go to the blues and make to make sure to decrease the blues in the shadows. Like so. And I want to go to the reds and de increase the reds in the shadows. Like. See how it looks from here. I think this looks nice. All right, people, and there we have it. It's just uh, a couple of minutes of work, but it gives a really fun effect. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something from it. And uh, yeah, now it's your turn to create some aggressive stuff like fruits or whatever you can imagine, maybe a football or whatever. It would be awesome if you would share them with me. Maybe DM me on uh, Instagram um, at I am at I dot M dot Rancy, um, is my Instagram account. And uh, I would love to see some of your results. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment on what you would like to see next. If you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Then I hope I will see you in my next video.